Hello everyone, good morning. It's bright and early. The bins just opened, but first, where are they? They're there. I need to eat before I go in there. I'm like dying to go in there so I can have a cart, but I know I need to eat some food. And this is what I do every pre-bins trip. I get Starbucks egg bites and I get my coffee and my water and I just kind of get ready to tackle the bins. Wow, how many hours later? Five hours later, I'm home. It was an epic day at the bins. I feel like I found some really good stuff and I can't wait to show you guys. Hello, future future me here. Um, I am about to dig into this haul for you guys. This was an epic day at the bins. I think I was there for like five hours. I have quite a few items. This is the most I've gotten in a long time. So. I'm going to be quick and I will also be tallying up over here or over here, I don't know yet, um, of what I am projecting to make off of each of these items. So that will be fun to kind of see what I can turn $60. Here we go. I spent 60, 40, 45 pounds at the Portland Benz. So let's see what I can turn $60 into. This was a good one. Okay, first up we will do shoes. These are a pair of Jack Rogers jelly flip-flop thong sandals. Um, super cute, nice white color. I'm projecting about 25. Well, I'm gonna list for 25. So we will see what I get on those. These are, these are, were an amazing find. I couldn't believe these. They are like brand new Danner boots. They are men's size 10. They have the Vibram sole. They're practically brand new. Um, these retail for I think a 140, but these are a sample actually, I forgot to mention. Um, so they are a sample. Let's see sample so 
There are, these are one of a kind, one of a kind. I'm pretty sure these are the Mountain Wear 600 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I have these listed for 125, I believe. So we will see what I get on these. These are just really, really, really good find. A really, really good find. <laughs> Let's spit it out. Okay. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I decided to ditch the clothing rack. I'm just more of a sit down and show you my haul kind of gal, I guess. Um, these are some Chocos. I always uh, flip these really well. Every time I find them, they sell within a month, I, I want to say. Um, especially the solid black ones. Those ones do super well. These ones have a really pretty detail and then kind of like uh I don't really know what kind of brown this is um I'm trying to think of a name but I can't think of it so <laughs> very like uh like a like a rock like a, oh my gosh I can't think of it <laughs> maybe I'll think of it when I edit this video and I'll add in a little clip of what I'm thinking of Okay, these are a pair of Saludos, just espadrilles. They have the calf hair, super cute. Just a leopard print. They are a size eight. Love these, so cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't say. So the Chacos, I wanna say um, 30 to 40, and then the Saludos, 25 to 30 for those. Okay, and then I picked up these two back to my Ikea bags here. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. I found um, two pairs of Nike Golf shoes for men. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to pick up golf shoes anymore because they always are super dirty on, on the bottoms, but I picked these up anyway. <laughs> Just because I know that they're pretty spendy and these were in really good condition, but these are the first pair and then I have these ones as well. Um, I think they're both a size 10, so I'm guessing from the same person. Next up are these Tevas, super cute, kind of like a gray stone color. Love these. These are a size seven and I'm, I haven't looked up comps or anything for these, but I would say 30, maybe 40. I don't know. And then as you guys saw from the video, some Rothy's I've been searching. I've okay. My first story with Rothy's, um, I was on a Facebook group for my town and it was a buy nothing Facebook group and somebody posted a pair of Rothy's for free, for free. So I got them and I flipped them for quite a bit. So those were the only Rothy's that I've ever found. So finding these in the bins was really, really exciting. And they had been sitting there like, I don't know for how long, but they do need a little bit of cleaning to the insoles. So I need to take those out and do that. And then, um, thankfully they are legit <laughs> from what I can tell. I'm fairly certain. So, um, made in China Rothy's are legit. If it says made in USA, then they are not real from what I have gathered from my research. So they're real. Um, I didn't even do comps for these yet. I just grabbed them. Um, but I'm going to put up here what... I think they will sell for after checking everything out. I can't even remember what I sold the last ones for. I think they were over a hundred. Um, yes, that was the last of the shoes. I found three hats. I don't normally pick up hats, but these ones just seemed kind of cool. I've had good luck with some hats. Some hats have sold for quite a bit. Um, I've sold like a vintage Von Dutch hat for like $80. Super cool. Um, actually kind of looked like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, so some hats I do have really good luck with. This one is just a Howler Brothers 
I thought the denim with the snapback was, or the mesh back was really kind of cool. Maybe 15 to 20 for this one. This is a brand I've never heard of, Yo Colorado. It is new with tag, which is why I picked it up, but just a nice embroidered logo right there, flex fit. Um, I have this listed at 20. And then this is a polar, I think this is just like a five panel. I think that's what this style is, I don't know. Um, I might give this to my husband, I don't know yet, but these, I think new, this is a newer, a new hat, maybe like new without tag, but maybe 15 to 20 on that one. These were just two um, Pendleton Crow Canyon Home um, enameled plates. I was going to keep them for myself to just kind of like take camping and stuff, but I decided to list them to see how they do. It normally is like a full set with dinner plates, bowls, cups, and all that um, that was selling, I wanna say for like 60. So I listed these two dinner plates for 20. I figured if somebody already has this set and they wanna add more, that would be a good way to do it. Okay, now we're gonna get into clothes. I have a full Ikea bag here. So let's get into it. I'm gonna try to make it quick. Um, did I say what those plates were going to be sold for? I, yeah, I did. 20. Okay. <laughs> okay, first up is this beautiful by Anthropology. It's a plaid button front tiered maxi dress. It's so... <laughs> I'm going to post a stock photo for you guys. This thing is gorgeous. I pulled this out of a bin that had multiple anthropology items in it and it was a new rotation and I just started throwing things in my cart because I knew that there were, you know, some good stuff, good items in there. It's an extra, extra small. It's a bit oversized, but so cute. I have this listed for 90. Um, so I mean, 70, 70 to 90 on this one. I was really excited to find that. The by anthropology tags does mean that um, it's newer. So FYI, this is another anthropology. This one is also kind of like a midi dress with a high slit on the side. I forgot what they called this one, but I'll post a stock photo here for you guys too. It is so stinking cute. This one is a small, so cute. I have this one listed at 90 as well. So between 70 and 90 is what I'm guessing, assuming I will get. Um, this was also in that bin, anthropology size small. This is a, just a cute little slip dress with a floral print and a lace detail at the neck. So cute. This one doesn't um, resell for much, but I believe I listed it at 30. So between 20 and 30 for that one. Hmm, let me finish what was in that bin. Just so you guys can see, whoever donated had excellent style. <laughs> so cute. This is another anthropology piece, but it didn't have the tag. So I had to do a Google reverse image search. And it is um, Akini and Ken, I believe, if I'm, my memory is right. Um, it's embroidered, beaded, just a super cute black zip-up hoodie. It's a size small. And then on the back, it has the embroidered as well. Um, I have this listed, I think, at 30, 35, maybe 40. So I'm guesstimating to get around that much. So I think that was it in that bin. I'm thinking so. Okay. This is not something I would normally pick up. It is an anthropology brand, an older anthropology brand. For for Vower, probably saying that wrong. Um, but it is a size large and it was giving me Beauty and the Beast. Um 
like Disney cosplay vibe, so that's why I bought it. And I did add those keywords into my listing, so I'm hoping that other people also see like the beauty and the beauty and be wow, beauty and the beast vibe that I do. Um, just the stained glass is so beautiful. I have this listed for 25, I believe. I'll take between 15 and 25 on that one. Okay, this is a, oh my gosh, apartment nine, I think it is. It's just the Tory jacket and it's a size 14. It's a really pretty like emerald green, just a women's blazer jacket. So cute. Uh, resale is not like super good, I guess you could say, but I just thought it was a really good style piece. And I have it listed for, I think 25. So between 15 and 25 on that one. This is just a Nirvana graphic tee I'm gonna keep for myself. Um, it's not vintage or anything, nothing special, but I haven't seen this print like ever. Some of them are selling on eBay, not for much, maybe like 20 bucks. So I'm just gonna keep it for myself. Big Nirvana fan. This is a Lululemon tank top. Super cute, strappy back. Really cute, like black and white honeycomb print. I have this listed for, I think, 30. Um, this print was pretty popular and um, did sell for a pretty good amount. I normally don't pick up, I'll pick up the Lululemon tanks if they have the shelf bra in them. They just feel a little bit sturdier and maybe better. Um, they, I feel like they last a little bit longer. They don't get as beat up as quickly as just a regular tank. And this is just the shelf bra. It's just the added bra inside the tank if you didn't know. Okay, I have a few kids vintage pieces. So cute. This is just an Oshkosh. It's a vintage vest back pair of overalls. I have these listed at $19.99. There's the vest back you can see. Um, I think they're 18 months. Yeah, 18 months. Super cute. Can't pass up a pair of vintage Oshkosh. Okay, this is darling. It fits my daughter perfectly. I kind of want to keep it, but we have no, we would only wear it for like pictures or something, some little photo shoot. Look at this. It's like a little girl's size five. Um, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a tag, so it looks very gunny sack-esque, but there is no tag. Um, it may be I know it's vintage, that's for sure. The zipper on the back and um, there's no other tags, but I did list this as gunny sack type dress. Um, I listed it for 90 and I have three watchers on it right now. So I'm excited to see what I get for this and I'll pop up a little picture of my daughter wearing it because it's so cute. Um, I Yeah, it needs to be worn by a cutie, cutie little girl. This is just a Michael Jackson graphic tee. Um, not, not worth much, but I just really like the print. I haven't really seen this thriller print before. So I have that listed for like 15, I think. Oh, this was also in that bin with all the anthropology. It doesn't have a tag, um, but the material tag had the the RN for anthro. So if you ever are curious and you don't know the RN, let's see, I don't, it's like six, six, one, seven, one, six, seven. <laughs> Where is it? Wow. It's so tiny. Six, six, one, seven, zero. If you're ever curious, it has a little RN. So I knew it was anthro. I did a Google reverse image search and this is what came up super cute just like a gauzy mini dress the like perfect fall winter color so 
if you live somewhere warm and you wanna and you're looking for a Thanksgiving dress, that would be perfect. <laughs> Um, it is actually pouring down rain here in um, the Portland area today, so not warm over here. Um, oh yeah, and I can't remember. I think I have it listed for about 30 on that one. These are a pair of bonobos. Am I saying that right? These are just some men's shorts. Just a cool like blue color. And they are a size 38, I believe. Um, these are, I'm projecting maybe like 25 for these guys. Cha-ching! This was too fun to leave behind. It's just a vintage bum equipment, like a crop top, cute little crew neck. And it says 1991 down here. Whoop, whoop. So it is true vintage, so cute. Too bad I didn't get this listed before Halloween because this would have been a really great like 80s costume. Um, I have that listed at 20, I believe. Alrighty, this is a Free People just waffle knit. The stock photo of this is really cute. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but it's just a slo a slooper, a slooper slouchy, <laughs> um, just kind of knit. It's really warm, really soft, and I'll probably get about 20 for that. These are a pair of Spanx, size large. I don't know how these are size large. These are like super compression leggings, but they are a camel print black and yeah, super cute. I think I am, I think I listed these at about 30 to 40. So that's what I'm hoping to get for those. Um, this is a Robert Graham men's funky printed button up with the, the colorful cuff, I guess. I don't know, whatever people call that, but that's what he's known for. So this is a larger size of 4XL. So this should go for pretty good. I think I have this listed at 50. This is a new to me brand. It is called Sunday with two U's. Let's see. Oh my gosh, there we go. It is an XL. It's just a gauzy kind of blouse. It has an elastic band around the waist. So that's pretty nice. And just some wide sleeves super cute i have this listed at 40. this is also a new to me brand but i would say a bolo it's payall jane i'm probably butchering that <laughs> but they are an xl super cute like army green trouser trouser pant with a stripe down the side so cute. I'll post a stock photo of these two. They are from Anthro and um, I have them listed at 90. So I'm hoping to get somewhere around that for those guys. So cute. These are just a pair of Nike Golf pants. Um, sell through rate is crazy good on these. Any sort of Nike Golf I always, well I have been picking up. And sometimes it takes a bit to sell, especially right now, because it's not really golfing um, season. But I just wanted to pick those up because they sell very, very well. And I have those listed at 25. This is an Under Armour quarter zip pullover. It is a size large. Um, I don't normally pick up Under Armour, but this one just feels super nice. It is Threadborn. So it's one of their lines that's just a little, I don't know, maybe a little more expensive, but it feels super nice. And I have this listed for, I think, 25. This is a super cute bathing suit. <laughs> the brand is Maxine of Hollywood. 
and I thought, and it's a size 16. I thought maybe this was one of those brands that just does kind of like rockabilly retro style bathing suits. It has like the ruched or the, I forgot what the, this gathering scrunching is at the front. And then it has like a short um, bottom. Um, so yeah, I thought it was just maybe a retro bathing suit brand, but it's not. They just make bathing suits for all styles. Um, I have this one listed at 30, I believe. Uh, they do sell pretty well. Um, I think especially it being a larger size and the floral print and um, a one piece, a lot of great key factors there. Okay, this <laughs> was crazy. I hit a bin that somebody donated all of their things too. And this guy was a major Tool fan, <laughs> Tool the band. Um, he donated three different Tool shirts, all vintage with the, with the Anvil tag. So these are all 3XL, super cool. I wanna say they're all 2002, I think. All from the same album too, I believe. So yes. So this is the first one. I have these all listed at 80. I have no idea. The pricing was all over the place. Some of them were going for 50, 40. Some of them were going for like 350. So I have no idea. Um, but these are true vintage. They, I don't believe they're from the tour. Like they weren't tour merch, but they are vintage. So this was a really, really cool find that one and this is the last one super cool somebody is gonna like those i have quite a few watchers on those already Whew. okay so yeah that was a cool find i found another thing i'm guessing the robert graham 4xl was also his because it was in the same bin. And then I, I sold actually this shirt yesterday. Um, it was also in the same bin. So he liked the blazers and he liked tool and he wore cool prints. So whoever this guy is, seems like a cool guy. <laughs> okay, this is a Maeve Anthropology. This isn't necessarily a newer style because it would say Maeve by Anthropology on the tag. And I don't normally pick up Maeve because it sits for a long time for me. But this is a large, it is newer, not new new. Um, and the cold shoulder with the floral print, I thought was super cute. So I have this listed at 25, I believe. I'm willing to take 15 to 20. Um, I just would like to move it. This is a pair of Patagonia barely baggies. So this is just a shorter women's version of the baggies. Super cute floral print. I have these listed at 30, I believe. This is a Free People linen blend, like button front mini dress. So cute. It would be so, so perfect on like a little Hawaiian vacation, you think? Button front. Um, yeah, so adorable. And I have this listed at 45. So 45 for that one. These are all just projected income. Um, I am, if I sell for what people are willing to buy my items for, so offers come in, I don't like to sit on things. So, um, yes. I like to keep it moving. This is an LL Bean relaxed fit flannel, like zip up hoodie, a full zip hoodie, super uh, like 90s grunge vibes. <laughs> super, super cute. How many times have I said super in this video? I am sorry. 100% uh, cotton, I have this listed for 30. Great fall staple. Oh, my pile is gonna fall, just fell. Okay, these are pretty fun. I just sold the other corduroys that I had in my last haul video. Those ones sold for 70. And then I found another pair. These are vintage Billabong. Ooh. 
just a corduroy, super baggy, wide leg. Oh, wow. That's weird. This stain is does not weird. Okay. I'll have to look into that. When I look at this, there's no stain. And then in the video, there's a stain. How weird. Okay, these are size 38, men's, true vintage, super wide leg, kind of like a cream corduroy, very 90s skate. Super cool. I have those listed at 75. This is a Frank and Eileen. This is the second time I've found this brand. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, the first item that I found was just a crew neck at the bins and it sold for, I want to say 70. So that was a really good flip. And then I found this one the last time I went, it's just like an army green button front, but the buttons are like hidden on the inside, if that makes sense. And this is a size medium. I'm not sure about comps on this. I would guess maybe 50, maybe 40, 50. This was a random find. Uh, this is just a vintage Budweiser twin fitted sheet. I thought some college kid in his dorm would really, really enjoy this. So I have this listed for 20. We'll see how that one does. And then lastly, I have these jeans and I have questions on them. So if anyone has ever, if anyone knows anything, I guess just let me know. But this is made from white oak cone denim. These are a pair of uh, salvage jeans. They have the little, the little thing inside so you can tell. It, they're really nicely made and I looked up comps online and um, a lot of Levi's or other brands are made from this cone denim or white, what is it? Yeah, white oak cone denim. So like Levi's did a collab with them using this denim and I think a few other brands, but I haven't found any that were just cone denim and I have no idea what to charge, what to price these at or like if they're like super vintage they they're like made they were made for somebody yeah 3333 <clears throat> yeah i don't know much info on these so if you know anything about cone denim let me know leave me a comment and that is it that's a wrap um Let's see, I'm gonna tally up everything, leave my grand total there of what I'm projected to get from this haul. So spending $60 and making potentially this much, so cool, this is why I love what I do. Um, but if you enjoyed this video and you like content from me, please like and subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, yeah, this is all really new to me and it's really fun. So I wanna keep making them for you guys and yeah. I will see you on the next one. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.